Hello, hello, and welcome. I'm Ryan, and this is The Long War. I hope you guys have had a good week. Did you enjoy that little bonus episode in the middle? I'm not really sure what motivated me to put that up, but uh, I hope it served as a good illustration of why you should be cautious in your movements in this game. Uh, because, you know, that whole mission fell apart just by making an aggressive move into territory we had not yet revealed. And from there, we just completely lost control of the situation and lost some soldiers. So, <clears throat> that's why I always try to be cautious with my movements. Uh, I'm recording this uh, a little earlier than usual. Uh, not earlier than usual in the week. This is actually Sunday morning. Um, I was planning on recording this last night, but I actually had my first day of work in a while. Uh, would you believe that the sort of person who's motivated to make Let's Play videos is also the sort of person who is chronically unemployed? Uh, it's crazy, right? Um, anyway, I was kind of... Uh, didn't expect that to take as much out of me as it did, and I came home and I was just, just done, just done. Had a couple of beers, ate a bag of chips, went to bed early. Um, <laughs> not the healthiest night of my life, but whatever. Uh, so, let's get on with it. We've got a mission today. If I recall, yep, it was a light abduction. We're headed to Sao Paulo. Alright, <clears throat> so... This squad, pretty straightforward for what we've been doing. We want to level up rookies. We want to get a, an assault to... We want to get a couple of assaults up to a high-ish level um, before the end of next month uh, for reasons that you saw in the previous video. So we're working on Mancini here. If I can get her to be a close combat specialist like Rodriguez, I'll be very happy. Uh, the rest of the squad... Gorshkov and Takahashi have already been on a mission before, so they're guaranteed to level up off of this one. They're at 100 to 120 experience. So they're going to be taking the support role this time. Uh, they're carrying smoke and scanner, uh, as well as medkits. And then on the remaining uh, rookies, we have two flashes, two frags. Well, flash on Mancini, but you know what I mean. Uh, I was <laughs> with Private First Class Fraga here. I was considering just loading him up with grenades, but, you know, I figured... Just, just keep it easy. Keep, keep it simple. Uh, armor, grenade, armor, grenade, armor, grenade, armor, grenade. Uh, so, Private First Class Elcom here? Uh, I believe he may be some kind of... Robocop. I'm not sure. We'll see how he performs out in the field. And, alright, with that, we're headed to Sao Paulo. God damn, that's still loud though. Did I turn down the volume a bit? I said. Touching down. I said that was the whole point of the mission last week. Brazilian authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going. Ooh, this next. map. Current updates from the ground indicate the aliens are moving within the city limits. We should get down there and secure the area as quickly as we can. All right, we're going to a Sao Paulo meat market. This map. <sighs> I won't say that I like it, but I've played it a few times, so I've got a pretty good handle on it, I think. Um, it's it's pretty straightforward. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, what was that map in the original Tribes? Broadside? You basically just have two buildings facing each other with uh, a bit of alleyway in between. Uh, there's a truck there, uh, and then a sort of warehouse. Usually you spawn uh, out front near the meat market. I'm not sure how that might change in long term. Oh, look at that RoboCop taping, uh, taking point. Yeah, 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 out in front of the meat market. So. Central, Big Sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Strike one is awaiting drop clearance. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. All right, so. Uh, like I said, there's basically, this map's pretty narrow. Uh, it's kind of like a Dota map. There's only, you know, three lanes to go down. Uh, we've got the alleyway here, the alleyway here, and through the building. We also have pretty convenient access to the roof with this pipe here. This building's broken up into two rooms. There's the bit out front, and then there's the uh, meat cooler in the back. It's got some pretty big uh, roll-up doors. There's also access to the roof in the corner here. And then across the way, past those doors, you've got uh, a truck and then a warehouse that is a pretty complicated building. It's uh, three levels total, counting the roof. There's a sort of uh, catwalk 
overseeing the the main floor that you can like shoot down from and then that can get shot down into from these skylights uh, it's a pretty interesting building to fight around um, so <clears throat> We are probably going to try to... Now the thing is with fighting from up here is that there's only half cover available sort of towards the front of the building that you're going to be fighting from. But with the elevation bonus, you're pretty much okay. So I'm probably going to send two rookies up there. We'll send the assault plus one... Assault plus two through the main building, and then probably someone up the side here. Although... That was the strategy I used, because I, I've gotten this map, this map can show up as a bomb mission, where you want to move really quickly, but uh, I think I'd rather take the roof, three on the roof, three in the building. Uh, there's side doors, so we can peek out into the uh, streets from safe cover through those doors, so I think I'll do that instead. Uh, so, I'm going to want one support, a flash, and a frag up on the roof. And then these three are going to be going through the building. So let's get going. Uh, we're going to take it slow. Uh, you know, we don't want to peek out there on the first turn and reveal something before we're in position. Okay. Hopefully there's nothing in the building. Alright, we're going to take our team that's going out this way and just stack them up on the window here. You know, so they're not peeking out into the alleyway, but they still have the motion. Motion? Solid copy, Commander. Uh, to get up that pipe next turn. It's going to be Kramer. It's going to be... Sorry, hold on. We got Kramer, Takahashi, and Fraga headed to the roof. Alright, meanwhile, Mancini, Elcom, and Gorshkov are going to get ready to move through the building. And these guys can just dash right up and hit this door. Stepping off. Mancini, you just get ready to dash in. Hopefully she can mount up on that back wall from there. Movement on the right. Alright, that was a lot of scampering around, and it sounds like we hear two secto... sectoid pods. You see why I sometimes say sectopods, because I'm dealing with sectoid pods. Uh... I heard a lot of scampering in this back alley here, so... I forget, does the meat locker have a, a door here? I don't think so, because it's got a, a thing right there. There is some pretty good cover in this alleyway here. You've got heavy cover from that, you got heavy cover on the truck, you got heavy cover on this dumpster. And then it's kind of a dead zone out here, like they're either gonna... There's a truck with an open back there, or they're gonna go this way and take cover around the building, so... <clears throat> well, if I stick with my original plan of getting these guys up on the roof, I might reveal those these guys with this movement. So let's take this movement and see what happens. Moving out. Okay. So I don't want to go up against you know go very far on my way. right along the edge because we don't want to reveal too much until we've got everybody in position. Standard stuff. I'm going to stop saying that. I think I've made it clear, you know, why I take the sort of movements I do Time to at this point. Are you joking? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. What the fuck? On top of the truck? And you still... Okay, you don't still have line of sight. So there was, there was one on top. There's two that we just revealed. One scampered this way, he's probably up against the wall in this corner here, and the other scampered back around this way? This is fucking weird. Uh, <clears throat> so they don't know about my team in the building, though, so let's see how we can use that to our advantage. Now... See, there's still a lot of uncovered territory that you know, we'd have to move through if we want to get a flank or something on them. So I don't just want to dash up and start, you know, going for that plan. We're still going to move up slowly. We're not in any danger right now. I, um, you know, we only had line of sight to the top of that truck, and then they all scattered. So nobody's in the line of fire right now. So we're just going to keep moving up. It's possible that there's something in this room. 
Now that might call them to us. Shit. Should have opened that door. Okay. On the off chance that an alien busts all the way through here to see what that noise was. Okay. Why did that sound like nothing, though? Was that a drone pod? More scampering. A lot of scampering. Uh, see, I don't like this now. We don't have eyes anywhere. Where's the scanner? Can you drop it? Yeah, put it on top of the truck. That should see what's going on in this whole back alley here. Battle scanner's up. Bip. <laughs> Fucking trick shots. Alright. So one is pressed up against this wall here. And the other is... Oh, shit. Okay, we've got a full pod right here, too. They were really packed in here. Now this guy, this guy back here, we might be able to see him through this gap here if we hit that door. We also heard did one of them run this way. We heard motion, you know, from this direction. We didn't see that door open or anything. This is kind of weird. Might be coming up down here. Mancini, check it out. Now, if I start moving Mancini up this back alley, she's in a position to start getting some big flanks when these sectoids, you know, see our guys here and want to take cover against them. However, the only good cover point I have here, the only cover point I have here, is that pod, which... Is that one of those sunken ones that only give half cover? Well... If I decide that that's not the plan, I still have the option of running her into the building and even up onto the roof. So we're just going to edge her up a little bit. In the meantime... Okay, good. Let's roll these boys up and hit the next... Really? Really? You guys? Alright. Well, I don't want to leave him with no action That's there in case this guy does something, so let's just move him up and overwatch. Maybe he busts through the door. I don't know. Now, our guy's on the roof. We want to move carefully because we do not want to activate that pod, so we're going to cross over this way. Getting it done. I think it'll be okay. Scamper, scamper. Door. Okay, cool. They're running off to the right. Good. That should let us deal with the guys we have. Oh, no. There. Ah! Like I said, he might just bust through that door. All right, good. Gorshkov, you're not a, an experienced priority, so we'll let the other guy pick it up. Oh, there was one in here. Sneaky business. Alright, so we've got one taking cover. Ooh, I wonder where he could be. Right there. Which is going to let us get a nice aye flank aye, shot commander. and still be in cover from that guy. There you go, Elcom. Dead and gone. Wonderful. Uh, hopefully we see you promote to a uh, gunner. That's what you wanted. Uh... If you get some other class combination, I'm going to roll the dice and see what happens. <sighs> Everyone's a little less mobile than I want them to be on this map. This is a dicky map. Now, if I go here, will that count as a flank against that guy? It's... When you have two guys up against the same wall, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. In any case, we will have hell of uh, elevation bonus. I don't want to go right on top of him, though, because I don't want to peer over that truck and see that guy. So we're just going to go right here. Solid copy. That's what we're looking for. Oh, he doesn't even have line of sight. Huh. 
Now I could, from this position, flash or frag that guy. And you know, you really don't want to have... You don't want to allow aliens to take actions against you uninhibited. Uh, and without a suppressor on this map, you know, flashes, smokes is all I have to keep my guys from taking shots. Uh, you know what? I think we can spare a frag, try to blow that wall open, and, you know, we don't need him to get the experience, but Takahashi might be able to pick up a kill here, and then we don't have to worry about this guy anymore. I think we can afford to use a grenade here. Nice. Ooh, and somehow that gave us... Briefly, we saw that there's a sectoid on Overwatch over here. That was strange. He still has... Oh, dicky. Well, take a shot, see what happens. I don't think he's going to stick around. Oh! Alright, it was Gorshkov's promotion. Like I said, he was guaranteed to level up off this mission. <clears throat> now, we still have our frag in place for when we reveal this pod. If I can, I would love to reveal them... Uh, by dropping that flash grenade on them. I'm on it, Commander. So I think we've got the truck blocking the line of sight here as well as heavy cover, so we're just gonna move up Takahashi a bit. And Mancini, if I put you here, you are going to reveal, so just get up on the corner, okay. get ready to move out next turn. And there is still one down there, so let's get them. Oh, right, the door opening. So, the door sound we heard before was probably someone inside the, the warehouse here. Beautiful shot. Are they revealed now? Yes. Well, that's less than ideal, but... We have some sectoids in very exploitable positions right now. So I hear meld over here. Okay, yeah, that door is open. Er, that door? There's this sort of stairwell over here. I think it was this door here that got banged open before. So there's another pack in there. Okay, this is full cover. Let me run her out. See if we can get... Alright, there's the meld. Apparently, you can tell how close it is to expiring by the sort of... That was the wrong button. Oh god. I don't know how that's going to look. Uh, anyway, apparently you can tell how close it is to expiring by sort of the, the pitch or the frequency or something about the, uh, the humming. I don't really know the trick, but I'm not getting an urgent feel from that guy. He's probably got at least two turns left. <clears throat> if need be, we can run and gun and grab it next turn. But for right now... And if I was paying attention, I believe, yep, one ran. Oh, he's not up against the the truck. He's up against the dumpster, which means that we're not going to have a flank against him. But on my way, should be able to do some damn. Mitch, this keeps happening. All right, well. Elcom, I think, is going to come up to this back door here and get ready to do some action next turn. Some back door action. Uh, however, there's not a lot of good cover for him here that's in range of the door. Like, I'd dash him up here, but then he's liable. You know, this guy's liable to just run into the building trying to get out of harm's way and shoot him. Uh, if I leave him here, you know, he's liable to get flanked through this big open wall that we made. Uh, I want him to be... This is not a bad position, but I'd like him to be on Overwatch, ideally. So we're actually going to move him back here. That's affirmative. Sit on Overwatch. Fraga, if I move you up here, aye, aye, is there aye, any chance you can see that guy? No. You could have from here. That's alright, we'll see if he runs. Uh, in the meantime... See, they're very spread out now. Got, you know, two over here, one over there. 
And if Mancini's going for the meld next turn, Mancini's not going to be dealing with this one. I don't want to move up too close to that fire, because my cover might burn down. Alright. So he can't... We can't see him, so he can't see us. He's probably going to want to reposition to, you know, get a shot at somebody. When he does, we got Overwatch looking at him. And Gorshkov... Maybe watches that opening there. Nah, just overwatch. Or maybe even reload. Nah, overwatch. Now, whichever way that one behind the dumpster goes, we got eyes on him. We got eyes everywhere. Come at us, sectoids. Alright, mine melt to the one by the dumpster. Who is... Overwatching? Alright, we got them all spooked. Okay. If we can hold them in this sort of spook cycle... Uh, see, we're not going to get to it this turn, and I think it's going to expire. Through the... Alright, well, that's something we don't need to worry about then. Sorry about that, Mancini. Shotgun is not doing a lot against that guy. Next turn, we can probably run and gun you up to... This is rough. Really... What happened here? Did fire do that? Whatever. Really don't have eyes on that guy. I'm on the move. I don't understand. It really looks like we ought to. Now Fraga. And the legal. Oh shit, yeah, that, that cover disappeared. Why did I do that? Uh, run back here. Don't take fire. <sighs> this has gotten really dicky. You're actually gonna hunker. How am I doing on time? 9.30. Alright, good. Hey! Headed up to the roof, are you? Still up. Well, that puts you in sight of everybody, but... Also puts you in a position to fire back. Yep. Oh, it was the one on the right. We could have gotten that one, actually. Oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Now Gorshkov's ammo out. And, uh, our cover against this guy is gone. Well, we still have the heavy okay. here. Can we fire at him from here? Now, it's not very, uh, worried about moving here, because, I don't know, should be okay. On it. Shit. Alright, uh, you reload. Let's rock. And this certainly isn't very elegant, but, I mean, sometimes, just roll the dice. Good On things can happen. Now, our guy's down here. Where did they go? He's not on this position anymore. I mean, he didn't move to somewhere we can see, though. Did he run behind the truck with his buddy? Possibly. Is he sitting on that corner overwatched? Possibly. Heading to that location. Elcom, go see what's going on. Oh! He moved into worse cover. So, uh, this is a little scary. Worst case scenario... I mean, we're right up on top of him. We've only got a 60% to hit, though. And I can't really move out to get a better shot. 
Takahashi can. Heading to that location. No Overwatch from here, please. Wait, he's on Overwatch. What am I doing? God damn it! I shouldn't do this so early in the morning. I'm. I'm... What the fuck? Um. Okay. Well. Now we got flanks on both of them. Jesus Christ! What am I doing? So, we take a shot with Elkom against this guy. If we need to, we take a shot with Takahashi. If not, Takahashi kills that one. Gorshkov comes over, drops smoke over here. Wow. I, yeah. Good. Nailed him. Um, that was... That was very poor no of me. Longer a that, was, that was one of the dumbest moves I've ever made. All right. We're gonna take a turn or two, get everybody into position, get their guns reloaded, and then we're going to make our way into the building here. We may want to get some guys on the roof so that we have, you know, potential fire into the building from here. That's probably where Takahashi's gonna go now that he's down health and not really, uh, you know, another hit will kill Takahashi. Uh, so, let's get going. We're just gonna move out, reload. So, this door leads you into the main floor of the warehouse. This door lets you take a position over here into the main warehouse and also gives you access to the doors, uh, the stairs. So, I think we want to mount up on the door sí, down here. <laughs> Still hear movement inside the building. So, we're going to have a couple. Open the door here. You know, that way the aliens want to take cover biased to that position. Uh, shit. Shit. Alright, it's going to be another turn or two. Uh, let's just move you up, have you reload, and then Let's you can go. get in the corner next turn. Takahashi, very sorry about everything. The movement we heard, they might even be in that back alley, honestly. So let's not go crazy here with our motion. I'm on it, Commander. What do you say? All right. Good to move up. Location Sorry, Takahashi. Confirmed. Hey, you're getting a promotion. So that's good. <laughs> Mount up on the door. Fraga, get ready over here. We can designate coordinates. And then Elcom and Takahashi are taking the ladder up to the roof. And then hopefully, if you enter into the building from so many directions, no matter how these guys react to us, we'll have somebody in position to ruin their day. <sighs> Actually. Wait, Takahashi, you can. You can heal yourself. You have your own med kit. There now. Oh, what am I. I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make in the long run, but he's got one, so let's use it. That's affirmative. All the Reloaded. melt's gone, so we can really take our time here. Um, I might have wanted to have been, you know, a little more proactive about getting it. I think we could have. Mancini spent a lot of time over here not doing anything that could have been, you know, time spent getting that one melt canister. <laughs> But I really don't have anything to spend it on just yet. It's nice to build up a, a stable, a stock of it. A stable? I, I keep saying. Uh, but, you know. I did not press V for open door. I pressed click on LCOM. Well, it still worked out. Cidadora. 
Fuck you. Fraga, have you gotten a kill? I don't think so. Again, maybe I should be paying better attention to this stuff. Who still has movements left? Takahashi and Fraga. So we're not doing anything just yet, but we can take him out easy next turn. Actually, Kramer, just take care of this. I'm tired of this mission. to blow him up. It is a little scary. Even with the flashbang, like, having a right, having it right on top of us like that. It is a little scary. You got a kill. You definitely got a kill. <sighs> Fuck it. And this is the last alien. Let's spend everything we got. Just want to give the kill to somebody who is, you know, needs it to level up. So take a turn and let that happen. Heading to that location. Oh. Is there another one out there? Oh no. Dick. Well, is he under the stairs with the? All right, he's peeking out into under the stairwell. That's an interesting piece of, you know, cover there. Kramer, see if we can't pick one up. All right, Mancini, just fucking ends this mission. Not for this. Oh. Operational objectives completed. <laughs> Let's make sure that getting the commander's coffee is part of a uh, standard procedure from now on. Because just <laughs> a really stupid oversight uh, put Takahashi in med bay for. I think it's going to be a week or two. Let's see. Unfortunately, it was only a sectoid, so... You know, he didn't die. Yeah, 20 days. Better part of a month. Uh, hey, look at that! Alright, here you go. Congratulations. God damn, he does look like a Robocop. Alright. Uh, we did not get a level on Mancini, but we got another tactical and, and two more scout snipers. It feels like we're really stacking up the scout we snipers. Let's take a look at our commander. barracks for right now. We got a scout. We've got a sniper. We've got one, two, three, four more scout sniper candidates. Ugh. I'm just actually going to take a tally really quickly. Or, uh, this is something I can do off camera, but uh, let's just look at. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen specialists. What is it? Two, three guys at a higher rank. And then a lot of PFCs still to get through. And how are we doing? We're halfway through the month. Uh, we're halfway through the month and we've got about half of our roster with some experience in them. We're going to have to pick up the pace a little bit. Might be all rookies next mission. Uh, well, Xenobio is still about to pop. We've got satellite uplinks and satellites on the way in time for the council report. Uh, no requests or anything. How's our hangar looking? Yep, 
Nugget, still recovering from that uh, interception mission before, but good job, Nugget. Uh, right. That steam there really is a little unfortunate. I wish it was, you know, on this side, so we had a block for the satellites, but so be it. Uh, it might be a little... I don't know if greedy is the right word, but maybe misguided opening up with a laboratory. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, it's good to get research going. Uh, I also... I want to get captures going relatively quickly. I might get uh, Xenonero and, you know, those facilities up before any more uh, weapon or armor research. So I can use it while uh, the enemies are still relatively... You know, while there's still sectoids out on the field, for instance. Uh, so that I'm not trying to take down thin men or floaters for my first capture. Floaters especially, because you need a lot of weird research to be able to autopsy them, which you need to be able to interrogate them. Uh, it's like alien bio-cybernetics or something. Um, Alright, let's just start scanning. They gonna let us get the Xenobio? We've got nope. Large contact oh, and it's coming shit. In fast. We're going to have a difficult time keeping up with this one. That's landing. Let's go take a peek at it. I'm gonna have to... I just want to see what it is, and then I'm gonna look up what kind of ship this is. Fangs out. Thank you, bye. Disengaging. Uh, okay. Hold on one sec. Okay, I thought the wiki had pictures of the ships, um, but it doesn't. Uh, so I don't know, that's either an abductor, uh, a transport ship, a collector, or a terror ship. I honestly don't know which. Uh, but it's going to land, so let's see what happens. It didn't land. Did it land in Mexico, where we don't have coverage yet? I'm surprised we picked it up. Uh, anything in the headlines about... Ooh, yeah. I mean, there's really not much we can do about that. There's, there's no way we could have fought that thing. And if it didn't land somewhere where we saw it... Oh, okay, good. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive. Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. I mean, I'm right here, you guys. I... All right, that's Zio Bio, com Zio Bio complete. Carry on. Or, no, oh, assign new research, obviously. Oh, good, a targeting module. All right, so I said I want to do this early. I'm not going to rush this too fast because what I really want is scopes. Yep, what I really want is scopes. Uh, and then maybe plates and then Xeno Neuro. Uh, research is a little slow this right now. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. 
I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Thank you. Uh, but once that lab hits, that should speed up things a bit. And now that we have Zeo by now, Zeo, Zeno, Zeno Bio, we're going to be getting requests for bodies uh, where we get scientists in return. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the council. Oh boy. Coming on screen. Oh, <laughs> bomb disposal rail yard. God damn it. Okay, we need to do it. That's a lot of money right now. Who do we have Excellent. available? We look forward to seeing your progress. Alright, so for a bomb disposal, I would want to take a team that's really mobile, heavy on scouts and assaults. Assaults so they can run and gun and hit uh, nodes if we have to. Unfortunately, we don't have any assaults available. Oh, this is going to be rough. But I'll work this out for next week. <sighs> right now i got to wrap it up and get ready for work, actually. Uh, so, this has been... Uh... Oh, shit. I didn't look at the, the name of the, the mission. I don't know. We'll call it uh, Operation... Uh, there's all sorts of vengeful and cursed things. So we're going to call it Operation Vengeful Curse. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like the show... Let me know in the comments. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, as always, remember to like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, show, share, share my channel with your friends. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next week for... Uh, this mission's gonna suck. Especially because we're gonna be fighting thin men. Not ready to be fighting thin men. Not with this bunch of rookies. But uh, we'll see what we can do. I'll see you next week. Take it easy.